What's happening, everybody? Danny Coker here, a.k.a. The Count. I'm hanging out in my shop right here in Las Vegas, and we got something really cool that we want to share with you that's kind of be a little bit of an ongoing series that uh, I think you guys are going to dig. There's a gentleman. His name is John Heaster. He's in the Carolinas. He is an automotive dealer down there. I'm going to have a conversation with John, and we're going to fill you in right now on all the details of this cool thing we're doing. So check this out. WRL's Scott Mason explains a local automotive, automotive group found a way and a creative way at that to keep the engine running. Classic cars and trucks. And we'll spend the time fixing them up. Trying to find a way to keep them working. Keep the classics and the mechanics working. With COVID-19, everything's slowing down in the middle of the day. As Americans, we figure out how to adapt and overcome. And get it started again. Win, lose, or draw, we want to make sure that we've kept everybody working and that we've had a good time doing it. You guys ready? John, what's happening? I'm just excited to be talking to you. I'm a big fan. I've been watching your show for a long time. You're a gentleman. I appreciate that, man. How are you holding up during all these crazy times right now? We've actually been doing pretty good. Uh, we, uh, When it first started out, we were scared and nervous. And uh, in fact, that's why we're here. You know, when I was in a meeting with some of our mechanics the other day, they were asking the question, what what are we going to do when the work runs out? Okay, so now this this whole crazy virus thing happened and the whole shutdown happened and everybody's just kind of hanging on for dear life and you had an idea to keep your guys busy and do something good. So tell me about this idea. I love classic cars, but my guys never work on them because they're always busy with customer cars. And so I thought, what if I bought some classic cars and we just paid them to work on them the same way we'd pay them to work on customer's cars? So. John got crazy, went out and bought himself a whole bunch of cars, and then what happened? It just grew. You know, I was, at first I was only going to buy, you know, eight or ten, and, and we put 14 of the cars in this challenge. Each shop has uh, three or four cars based on their size, and we paired the, the mechanics up, and the car that they make the largest difference on We'll raffle it off for charities. I like this, I like this a lot. So what are the rules for these guys as they start working on these vehicles? For the most part, we've tried to let them use their creativity. And you know, certainly we'd love to lean on you or, or, or some of your guys to say, hey, don't do that, John, that's crazy. And, and I'm sure they'd love your insight and your input. I would love to get involved. So I'm, I'm, I'm digging this because again, I love to see some positive stuff going on during these crazy times. I love to see a gentleman like yourself taking care of his people, taking care of his team, giving them something positive to do. What are some of the cars that these guys are working on? It's a real variety of cars. I bought a 74 Dodge Dart Swinger that was beige. We got a Jeep J10 pickup that's a Golden Eagle. A Dodge D100 sports side short bed pickup. They're hoping to make into like a little Red Express type truck. CJ5 that, that a guy had done a bunch of the work on it, um, but just never finished putting it back together. I've got a 65 C10. Truck's been in that family, I think, almost its whole life. They've got a 76 Cadillac Eldorado. It's blue and it's got an old 8-track player in it. 70 C10 pickup. It's the old body style. It's got a 75 Camaro that's like a Transformer Bumblebee design. It's, uh, we got a 1988 Dodge Ram Charger pickup, jacked up with a little bit larger tires and a bigger motor in it. We got a Plymouth Roadrunner, 1969 big block car, four-speed 72 Dodge Dart, that cool green color with gray and it's got a v8 in it as well 91 silverado truck that someone did an ls swap in and 72 monte carlo big block had a 402 in it and an 84 k10 four by four truck you got you got a ton of great cars in there and what i like is you got a really wide variety i mean I, it, there's this stuff from wicked muscle cars that we all know and love to some really offbeat muscle cars that you don't see so much the trucks the newer stuff the older stuff you got a great variety so i mean these guys have a real opportunity to let their creative juices go crazy one of the things that i can do to help is let the world know that you're doing this so that at the end of the game here, when the vehicle goes for auction, we can hopefully raise as much awareness and we can raise as much money as humanly possible. If your teams 
have questions or maybe a little guidance here and there or some ideas and and they want to pick my brain or pick some of my team's brain i'm in 100 percent on that we'll keep updating these videos see how everybody's doing raise awareness towards this whole fantastic project you got going and when that winning car is ready to go let's raise some huge money for the right thing oh that would be so awesome a lot of them if not all of them watch your show and, and it would be neat for them to get an opportunity to ask you a question or your team. Hopefully we can guide them along the way and let's have fun with this. Thank you so much for, for letting us uh, bring this to you. It is my pleasure. It is my honor. I thank you for allowing us to be a part of this. I'll see you soon. Looking forward to it. God bless you, man. You rock. Love what you're doing. There you have it, everybody, right there. You got the story from John's mouth himself. This is going to be a fun series, a cool series. Stay tuned here with me. We'll be checking in on their progress, seeing how this is going. When we get to the end of the line on this, there's going to be one car that wins, and that car is going to raise money for a real positive cause. Thank you guys for sticking with us, for watching us. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay tuned. More fun in the future.